This is an extremely bizarre maze. The wall looks very tall and thick, but it is moving all the time. The most crucial thing is that there are bloodthirsty monsters in the maze. All humans who enter the maze will be eaten up by them. However, in this maze of death, there is still a green meadow where the survivors can live. On this day Thomas opened his eyes to the sun. Above him stood all kinds of men. Each of them had a strange smile on their faces. Thomas immediately felt the danger. He got up, broke away from the crowd and tried to escape. He slipped and fell to the grass. Then he cautiously and slowly raised his head. Thomas noticed that he was surrounded by a high wall that towered around him like a square. But strangely enough, Thomas couldn't remember all the things he had experienced. That's when all became over and told him. Everyone who was here was just like you. When we were brought up in the elevator, we forgot everything except our names. And then Albie made a point of telling Thomas, you must not go outside the fence. But the more Albie said that, the more curious Thomas became. He ventured towards the open entrance of the fence. But he was stopped by Clint again. Clint advised him not to go in. The entrance was very dangerous. Before Clint could finish his sentence, two men ran out of the entrance. Clint also said that only runners can go inside and come out safely. This made it more difficult for Thomas to suppress his curiosity to explore. He continued to walk towards the entrance. Suddenly Gilly rushed towards him and pushed him down with force. Thomas's anger was instantly ignited. What the hell is in here? Why are y'all stopping me from going in? The sound of his argument hadn't stopped yet, but there was a roar behind them. The heavy stone doors began to move. Eventually the different walls of stone came together and stuck together. At night the roar started again. It was then that Newt told Thomas the truth. Outside the gates was a huge maze. The path inside that maze was changing all the time, especially at night. A group of monsters will appear in the maze, but all the people who had seen those monsters were dead. The next day, Albie took the clueless Thomas to the wall. There were many scratches on the fence with names carved on them. Albie told him that the names underlined were the names of the people who were killed by the monsters. Then Thomas also used a knife to carve his name on the stone wall. But soon another strange thing happened. Thomas saw a man with a pale face in the woods. His expression was as hideous as a demon. Then he went berserk and instantly jumped on Thomas on the ground and shouted under his breath that it was all your fault. It took Thomas a lot of effort to break free from his grip. Thomas ran as hard as he could to the lawn. Finally, with the help of many other people, they were able to control the man who had gone berserk. They lifted the man's clothes. A badly infected wound was exposed to everyone's eyes. It turned out that the man had been stung by the monster in the maze. So this means it will soon become a zombie. The crowd had no choice. They could only use a very long tool to threaten and push the man into the maze. But there was something really strange about this. The next day in the early hours of the morning, Obi decided to go into the maze and check it out for himself. There was a new surprise. The day is almost over and it's almost time for the walls to close. Obi and his teammates were late in showing up at the entrance. When the closing time came, the two stone doors started to slowly move closer to the middle and merge. At that moment Thomas suddenly found the wounded Albie was slowly walking towards the door with the help of his companions. But the speed of their escape is to slow. The crowd stood in the doorway anxiously, but no one entered the stone door to help carry Albie out. Just as the two doors were about to close together and squeeze them, Thomas finally couldn't resist and went straight into the maze. The doors of the mobile maze were about to be closed, but the survivors to companions didn't come out yet. They might even be crushed by the doors. Thomas rushed into the maze despite the other's advice. But just as Thomas reached the stone door, Minha told Thomas to congratulate him for just killing himself. This is not to scare him, for the strange screams coming from the depths of the maze soon confirmed the truth of this blessing. Thomas decided to hand the unconscious Albie up first to prevent him from being hurt. But just as the two of them pulled Albie up into the air with a vine, the monster came near them. The frightened Minha dropped the vine and fled the area. Thomas didn't want to leave Albie behind. He could only temporarily hide inside the dense vines. When the monster was far away, Thomas tied Albie with vines and feet not to slip down. He was just about to leave when a strange yellow goo dripped heavily on his shoulder. It turned out that the monster was right above him. Thomas tried desperately to escape. The monster was chasing after him. Thomas could only use his brain to think of a way to survive. He used the vines to temporarily trap the monster. Shortly after, he ran into Minha again. Minha told Thomas that the area would be closed soon. Thomas stops in his tracks as he watches the moving wall. No matter how much Minha shouted at him to run, Thomas did not move until the monster came after him. Thomas finally ran towards the inside of the passage. At this time, the surrounding wall gradually closed, but the monster did not stop with the monster roar and Minha's scream. 
The screen went black. The next day, the closed doors of the labyrinth were separated again. The people outside the gates habitually came to see if there were any survivors who could escape the maze. Because no one has ever survived the maze until the next day. But as the stone doors all opened and stood still, Thomas and two teammates stumbled out with each other. The crowd was surprised and asked them, Didn't you see the monster last night? Min Ho responded that Thomas had killed the monster last night. The crowd was incredulous after hearing that. Some thought Thomas was a hero, but others felt that Thomas had angered the monster. This would surely bring them to their doom. While the crowd was arguing, the elevator came up from underground with a woman. The crowd was very puzzled because no woman had ever come here before. The woman had a note in her hand. The note read, she's the last one ever. The crowd did not understand what it meant and how to do it. But Thomas confirmed his suspicions. He thought that someone was behind everything here. So he decided to look for clues from the monster. He took his four companions and ran back into the maze. They found a strange slime-covered device inside the monster's body. After a series of events, Thomas gains the trust of the runners. Min Ho showed Thomas the map of the maze. It turned out that they had figured out all the routes of the maze during the years. They were locked up here. They found out that the maze has no exit at all. There were only eight areas that kept opening automatically for people to enter. Min Ho guessed that the device inside the monster was probably the key to Area 7. Just then the woman suddenly woke up. Teresa was very weary of all the other men pressed. The only time she started to calm down was when she saw Thomas. Thomas said to her that I think we had met somewhere before. He approached her in an old-fashioned way, but Thomas was handsome enough to convince the woman to trust him. Teresa took out the potions and gave them to Thomas. She said she woke up with these in her hand. Thomas suspected it might be the antidote. He took his companion to Albie's side. Suddenly Albie grabbed Thomas by the collar and said you shouldn't be in this place. In a panic, Thomas grabbed the potion and stabbed Albie in the body. That's what put Albie to sleep. The next day Thomas followed Min Ho into the maze. This time they went straight to Area 7. They followed the device's signal to a dead end. At that moment, the device's signal number 7 suddenly turned green. The wall behind them rose slowly. There was a huge black hole inside the wall. There was a red light coming out of the black hole. The red light scanned through the two men's bodies like a laser. Immediately after the hole began to close, the two men realized that something was wrong. They quickly turned around and prepared to escape from here. Two dudes are trapped in a moving maze. The blades around them are constantly rotating and blocking the direction of progress. The two can only weave in and out of the many gaps of the blades. Min Ho is the first to go through one of the gaps. Thomas was blocked by the spinning blades. He could only run in the direction of the blades were not completely closed. Finally he squeezed through the gap when the blades were about to close to join Min Ho. But they had just escaped from the blade formation. The buildings in the maze collapsed one after another. The two of them ran as fast as they could. They were lucky to make it back to the safe area at the last minute of the closure. They guessed that the black hole was the exit of the maze. Then they found Albi, who had awakened. But at that moment, Albi looked very depressed. He said we can't get out. So he remembered everything. Albi also said that Thomas was one of them. Thomas didn't understand and looked dumbfounded. But then something happened outside. It turned out that it was long past closing time tonight. But the door of the labyrinth had not been closed. Before anyone knew what was going on, the stone doors around them also opened in turn. This means that the monsters from the maze would come to their lawn and start killing them. The next second the monsters came out of the maze. The crowd scattered and ran in all directions. But the monsters had a very clear target. They were all going to get Obi, who had just healed. The moment Obi was taken by the monsters, Thomas was asked to take the others out. Then Thomas suddenly realized Obi was stoned by the monster and then remembered what happened before. So he thought nothing of sticking the monster's tail into his own thigh. His companion gave him the only medicine left. The next day Thomas woke up and remembered everything. It turned out that everything here was an experiment. And Thomas and Teresa were both experiment workers. For some reason, they were also sent into the labyrinth with their memories erased. After hearing this, the companions still chose to believe Thomas. Eventually they separated from the conservatives. The group came back to the black hole. This time the monster was already guarding the entrance of the cave. The group took advantage of the terrain and pushed the monster off the cliff. After they turned on the switch of the black hole, what they saw was a passage that they had never seen before. The group followed the passage to a laboratory. There were corpses all over the place. It was destroyed as if it had been through a great war. At that moment, a projection of a woman suddenly appeared on the screen. She said that the world outside the labyrinth was infested with a virus. You exist to develop an antidote. It's up to you to save the world. At that moment, the troops break into the lab behind her. 
The woman grabbed a gun and ended her life. After hearing the woman's words, the crowd began to hesitate. They didn't know what they would face after they escaped from the labyrinth. At that moment Gali suddenly emerged from the crowd. By now he had been stunned by the monster. He told the crowd that all the people in the safe zone were dead. Gali went crazy and attacked Thomas. But he was taken away to another world by a spear shot from Minho. But the bullet also hit Clint. Before anyone could grieve, the troops returned to the lab and dragged them all out. It took years for the group to see the maze in its entirety. After they left, the image of the woman reappeared. Ava wiped the blood from her face. What had just happened was an act she had put on for Thomas and the others. Ava announced that the first phase of the experiment was over. The second phase of the experiment was to begin immediately. It turns out that Thomas and the others still hadn't escaped from the maze. The next thing that will greet them is a bigger conspiracy. This movie is called The Maze Runner. It tells the story of a group of young people trapped in a maze trying to unravel the fog and find the truth. Although they end up in the middle of another conspiracy. But the good thing is that they are a group of young people who are not willing to compromise. As long as they keep running, one day they will be able to discover the truth. The same is true for us in real life. As long as we continue to work hard, we will eventually usher in a better tomorrow.